welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm gonna do something a bit different and i'm gonna suggest you guys to watch some series or movies that are somehow relevant to neuropsychology as in like neurological content or psychological content if you want to know what i had to say about this just keep on watching okay so the first series that i want to talk about is one that is trending a lot right now which is called mind hunter which is inspired in how the behavioral department came into place in the fbi uh, in the us and i think it's super interesting to see the psycho of like the people like how their brain works and why they behave the way they do and why do they kill people so it's like really interesting from like a more psychological point of view but mostly for me for the behavioral component that it has in the whole series the second one that i would recommend watching is called concussion and it's a movie that has will smith in it and i think it's super interesting because it talks about um american football and how the concussions in the head of the players affect their behavior after many 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 times that they've been hit in the head and i think that one's really really interesting for like a scientific point of view but it's also enlightening if you didn't know anything about that topic the third suggestion i would recommend we're watching criminal minds which is a show that has been going on for ages and i still like it to this day because i think this whole like breaking down the personality of the criminal is super cool and the way they reach their behavior and like uh, trying to investigate what the background could be and the reasons why this person would behave this way so I think if this whole like behavioral component again it's super super well done in this series the fourth one that I would suggest watching is Black Mirror but in particular one that is called Black Museum which I don't want to spoil it, but it has a huge component with the brain and its functioning that I think is super, super cool and that it would be amazing in a way if it could work um, to an extent because of course it always twists things up a bit. Uh, but I recommend it a lot. I don't want to create any spoilers, but it's worth it and it has this like neurological um, medical component to it, which I love. The one that I think it's, a, it's not like a crazy good movie, but it's one that I saw a few weeks ago and the beginning of the movie is super super informative and it's called the female brain um, I think it's really cool the way they had explained like the neurotransmitters and like how do they work in the brain and what are the outcomes of the neurotransmitters so this whole like class that you get for free in the movie it's super cool and it has like images and I think it's really well done the movie itself is more like a chick flick but that part of the beginning it's really really nice to watch if you are into like the whole neuropsychological component of the movie last but not least is a movie that is actually pretty old it's called awakenings and uh, it is really interesting for a neurological way but also like neuropsychological way because for me it relates a bit to me um, to when i'm in the hospital with patients and like you're trying to see how they behave what they do and like try to get the most out of their whole persona in a way um so yeah, i think that was really really cool a bit long but worth to watch okay guys so that was the end of the video i hope that you like this type of video that is a bit different and we suggest you guys things that i thought they were interesting from like a neuropsychological point of view um so please do not forget to subscribe it make me super super happy to have one more of you guys in my community and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.